Hey you! Yes you! Have you always wanted a Pokemon that can switch into Keldeo reliably without having to worry about getting hit by a Choice Spec Secret Sword? Well, I got the Mon for you. <laughs> Today, we guys, we are we are covering Tapu Fini, the last of the uh, Tapus. Again with me, I have Count Riario. Say hi once again, buddy. What's up, guys? And, uh, yes, like I said, we are covering Tapu Fini. It is the second, uh, well, I won't go into its typing, that's Count's job today, but, um, <laughs> Tapu Fini, like I said, uh, is, a, is a great check to Keldeo. It's, a, it's also a great check to a lot of other mons, as you'll see, uh, during this episode. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, it's actually pretty fitting, uh, that Fini is the last of the Tapus that we're covering <laughs> because, uh, Fini means, uh, done in French. So, I'm glad we're done with these. And, uh, Count, if you want to get us started with the typing and stats. Yeah, of course. Uh, its stat is... Uh, its stat, wow. Its typing is Fairy Water, uh, which isn't a new typing. We already had a Zoom World, and also we gained uh, Prima Marina, the water starting type, starting mom. Uh, it's also Fairy Water, but it's still a very good typing. It's only weak to Poison, Grass, and Electric, but it resists Fighting, Bug, Fire, Water, Ice, Dark, and is even immune to Dragon. So it's a very good defensive typing. Uh, now for its stats, uh, it has 70 base HP, which is... Which is uh, kind of meh for a defensive mon, but it can work with it. 75 attack, which you shouldn't use probably. <laughs> 115 physical defense, which is pretty good. Uh, paired with 17, 70 uh, HP, it, it takes on a lot of physical hits. 95 special attack, which you can definitely use uh, for its stab moves in like Surf or Moonblast. So it, it can dish out a decently hard hit. And there's 130 special defense, which is amazing because it just tanks a lot of special hits, including uh, uh, super effective hits like electric arrests. Then there's 85 speed, which is for a defensive mod actually not bad at all. Uh, it gets off a fast ta taunt or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's it's base total tad is of course 570, which is uh, very good. Uh, it's almost legendary like. It's pretty comparable to Suicune in it's a very defensive water type. Um, and it actually does the same as well. It can calm mind up and such. So uh, yeah. That's, that's it for the typing. Now the reason that note was there was because the exact stats kind of match up with Suicune's uh, in a lot yeah. of ways. Uh, sort of, uh, it's lacking a little bit of, an, of HP but it gains more in Spadef. Um, and the speed is the same, the special attack is almost equal, uh, pretty much everything else is the same. So Suicune's base stat total is actually 580, it's only 10 above uh, Tapu Fini, so there's that. Now, uh, let's look at its notable moves. Count did start talking about them, but uh, he said Surf will we'll, uh, keep it to Hydro Pump uh, and Moon Blast. Those are its two strongest uh, stab attacks. Uh, then we also have Ice Beam and Grass Knot as general coverage. Ice Beam, of course, being able to hit uh, quad effective, uh, well, quad weeks like Lando and Garchomp, while Grass Knot is able to hit water absorbers such as Gra Gastrodon and Seismitoad for quad effective damage. Nature's Madness is a move that's often seen on Tapu Fini, especially on the OU ladder, as it's able to catch switch-ins, Pokemon that can typically switch in, that don't have any kind of reliable recovery and take off half their health immediately. Uh, then we have Haze and Taunt. I grouped these together because they're very similar in a way. Haze gets rid of any prior stat boosts, while Taunt prevents your opponent from setting up altogether, as well as preventing any kind of status. We didn't talk about Tapu Fini's ability, by the way, which is Misty Surge, uh, which prevents uh, Pokemon from getting statused uh, while it's up, which is really, really cool. So Tapu Fini can't get Toxic, can't get Thunder Waved or Burned while that uh, terrain is up, uh, but Taunt further helps that once the terrain is gone. Calm Mind, of course, like we mentioned before, very similar to Suicune, you can run a max defensive set with Calm Mind, uh, be able to set up on your opponent on a Pokemon that wouldn't be able to uh, take it on after a couple of Calm Minds, uh, and then just rest up and sleep talk if you want to rely on your uh, Scald or Surf or whatever you choose to run, even Moonblast. Moonblast generally hits neutrally on a lot of Pokemon. Uh, then we have Reflect and Light Screen. Uh, this is kind of um, more centered toward League format. You wouldn't see this in standard uh, singles play uh, because Tapu Fini, of course, is bulky enough to set up the screens for itself and for other team members. And of course, most importantly, I think on this Pokemon, and what really makes it important to a Draft League team is Defog, being able to get rid of hazards uh, once they're already up. The Tapu Fini can normally switch in on stealth rocks and three layers of spikes and take any non-super effective hit and be able to get rid of the hazards uh, to help out Pokemon let's say Charizard Y uh, is on your team or anything that's uh, that really doesn't appreciate hazards up in general so that's gonna cover it for the moves count if you want to take us into a few calcs that we came up uh, with one more thing though yes uh, the mystic terrain also has the dragon type attacks so even if it goes down the terrain is still up uh, you face a dragon it still only does half so that's also something notable. Wait, what? That's if the terrain is, is gone? 
No, it's still if it's still up. But okay. If the mana's dead, it's still up. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> it has <laughs> dragon type. I actually didn't know that. Thank you for that information. Yeah. But it's a fairy type itself, so it doesn't use it itself. Good team support um, though. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Anyways, on to the notable cal calcs. Um, the first one we have is a 252 attack, life orb Mian Shao with poison jab, first a max HP, max defense, bold Tapu Fini, and it's actually a three hit KO after leftovers. It does 50% max. And in league format, this is actually pretty big because it's the, the best move Mian Shao can run for Tapu Fini, and it's not even able to two hit KO it. So it can hit back hard with Moonblast. Mian Shao does, it, of course, have access to a regenerator, but it's still a great wall to it. The next thing we have is a 252 attack, Life Orb Weavile, of course, Jolly. Uh, first is a max HP, max defense, Tapu Fini. And it, it's also not a 2 hit KO, it does 41.5 to 49.1%. Also a guaranteed 3 hit KO after leftovers, and Moonblast hits it back again very hard. Now, something you see common in OU, but also actually in League format, is defensive Rotom Wash. Zero special attack Rotom Wash with Full Twitch. First is max HP, max with death, Tapu Fini. Is actually 27 to 33, or in other words, 74% chance to four hit KO after leftovers. So that, that, that's a stab, super effective attack, and it does nothing. Uh, next up, there's a very strong mom. It's a 252 attack, strong jaw, sharpedo, mega sharpedo with psychic fangs, because of course, crunch does less. And it only does to a max HP, max defense, bold type of Fini, uh, 32.8 max. So it's a guaranteed three hit KO. 82% chance to 4 hit KO after leftovers. Next up, there is another uh, Water Dark type because it's, of course, the best mon in walls. That's a plus one Adamant Mega Gyarados with Crunch to only a max HP type of Fini, and it does 31.6 to 37.5 max. That's a 0% chance at 3 hit KO. Uh, if he gets 3 max girls, he will 3 hit KO you after leftovers, but the, the, the odds of that are so slim, so yeah. And then we get, go to the offensive side of Tapu Fini. With only 48 special attack of Tapu Fini with Moonblast, it actually is a guaranteed 2 kill on Mega Gyarados. So you can actually run max HP and some special attack, and you can put the rest wherever you want it, and still wall Gyarados amazingly. Next up, there's uh, Landorus Eye, which with, with 252 special attack, a life orb, and Shear Force, of course, with a super effective sludge wave to a 252 HP, no spadef Tapu Fini, it's not even an Oko. It does 74.7 to 88.3 max. That's a guaranteed 2 KO after leftovers. And you hit it back hard because with a modest 252 special attack type of Fini Hydra Bomb versus the Landorus with, with, of course, no defenses, it actually does 120 to 141. It's a guaranteed Oko. And the same goes for Ice Beam because with a modest 252 special attack type of Fini, you do 131 to 155 to it. That's also a guaranteed Oko. So it hits it back hard and it takes the hit. Now, of course, those calcs are a little bit stretched out uh, in terms of uh, being able to Oko 120 and 131. Those aren't, uh, they're they're overkill, basically. But, of course, yeah. in league format where your opponents can run uh, HP investment if they don't necessarily need all the speed or all the special attack to be able to Oko certain Pokemon, uh, then that's, that's something to look out for. Um, and, uh, of course, this is the first time we're covering a, a defensive Pokemon on this, uh, on this series. Uh, the other three have been a lot more offensive, um, wall breakers more so. So, the calcs look a little bit different for this episode in where, uh, we're covering it, the defensive side and the offensive side of Tapu Fini, what it can do back to the things that it's supposed to check as well. So, next up, we have Checks and Counters, Pokemon that can actually fully wall or, uh, force out Tapu Fini. Uh, grass and Poison types, uh, this was seen with Azumarill in Gen 6. Uh, every single time Mega Venusaur came in on it, it was able to wall it out completely. Tapu Fini does have one little advantage over Azumarill in that it can take off half of Mega Venusaur's health before having to switch out with Nature's Madness. Same goes for Roserade and Amoongus, of course. Uh, Amoongus having Regenerator, so it doesn't really care. But Tapu Fini's access to Ice Beam is always nice. That's something that Azumarill didn't really typically carry. Uh, so it can definitely hit those uh, pretty hard being Roserade and Amoongus. Mega Venusaur doesn't care because of the thick fat. Then we have Volcanion, another amazing uh, wall to Tapu Fini. Again, the uh, Nature's Madness able to take off half health uh, if it is a Choice Specs variant uh, or anything of that sort. And Volcanion can't do much back to Tapu Fini because it can't even burn it with um, Steam Eruption in the Misty Terrain. So uh, it's kind of like a sta uh, standstill for the two of them. 
uh, when they're facing each other. Next up, we have Rotom Wash and Lantern. Uh, Rotom Wash, of course, we did cover in the Calx, but if you run a more offensive variant, uh, you can definitely do a lot of damage to it. Tapu Fini doesn't uh, enjoy staying in on electric types, typically. Lantern even more so, because it's able to run Water Absorb uh, to eat up one of the stabs, uh, the one that doesn't hit super oh, that doesn't hit neutrally anyway, so that doesn't really matter, but Lantern is just a very bulky Pokemon that can take on any one of Tapu Fini's hits. Uh, then we have Crobat and Tornadus T. I wanted uh, to put Pokemon on here that have uh, access to taunts, so Tapu Fini doesn't get any reliable recovery as is. If you can force it to not be able to rest, that's even better. Crobat does have super effective stab, albeit not too powerful in Cross Poison to be able to hit Tapu Fini. And Tornadus T, typically Assault Vest, is able to take on Fini, no problem. Uh, any one of its attacks, really, and just be able to taunt it, U-turn out, hurricane, potential confusion, things like that. So those are the uh, the mons that we were able to think of in the higher tier picks if you're drafting Tapu Fini alongside with them, of course. And finally... Yeah, the good partners for Tapu Fini. Well, we came up with a few. Uh, the best partners for it are usually Steel types, because Steel types actually... Uh, well, they resist or are immune to the things that Tapu Fini is weak to, except for Electric. So the first one we have is Cobalion. Cobalion is a great uh, utility mon with Stealth Rocks, it has Taunt. It can close combat other Steel types that uh, Tapu Fini uh, has problems with. It can Volt Switch, get initiative uh, for Tapu Fini to get leftovers back, for example. It can get the Rocks up, which it also likes because you want to wear down your team. Um, something else is a fast steel type, or even faster steel type, I would say, in uh, Mega Metagross, or even regular Metagross. Also, Stealth Rocker is steel type. It has great offensive prowess, and it actually, you know, Tapafini is a great defensive switch into whatever Metagross doesn't like to deal with. So they are actually great partners for each other. Then there's Jirachi, also a good steel type, which also has access to Wish Pass. And Tapafini doesn't have great reliable recovery, except for leftovers and maybe rest. So Wish Passing into it is amazing, they are great partners for each other. You could also run another Wish Passer, um, depending on the typing. Like Alamomola is also a good Wish Passer, but it's water type, so you gotta think twice about that. Um, next up we have Xatu. Xatu is uh, great because uh, it also has, well, it has Magic Bounce. And that bounces the rocks back, it also has access to Defog, so you don't have to run Defog on your top of Fini. And with the rocks not on your side of the field, it actually makes uh, your top of Fini way more worth because it doesn't get in 12, doesn't lose 12% every single time. So the leftovers are worth a lot more. Uh, the last thing is good ground types. We actually mentioned Ductrio especially here because it deals with a lot of uh, electric and steel types. It doesn't want to deal with the likes of Magnezone and Magneton are easily trapped and they're gone after one earthquake. But a lot of ground types should work because they are of course immune to electric and they do resist poison. So, yeah, that's about it. Now, I, I'm the one that came up with this list. Count did mention to me that pretty much any Steel type can fit the role uh, that Metagross can that we mentioned before. Uh, one specifically that I just wanted to mention was Mega Steelix because Mega Steelix is actually able to uh, resist and be immune to every single type that uh, Tapu Fini doesn't appreciate. Uh, well, it's neutral to grass, but uh, there are like grass moves don't typically hit it too too hard especially if you invest in spidef and also what mega steelix allows if you're drafting it if it's in a draft league is that it normally opens up the possibility to have higher point values on the rest of your pokemon on what you're drafting so it's a great uh value pick lower down and uh zatu as well that's that's kind of why i put zatu on the list was because it was a cheaper pick so i just wanted Definitely. to bring that up yeah Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out Count in the description down below. Uh, the next Pokemon we will be doing is going to be Majorna. We are going to have Dom on the uh, on the next series of three episodes. But before that, we are going to be having a battle, myself and Count. We have both <laughs> selected teams. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys are going to... When you, when you find out which teams we took... Uh, to face off against each other by replacing one Mon with Tapu Fini or Tapu Bulu. You guys are gonna laugh, this is actually really funny. It was, we, <laughs> we, we pasted them in the chat at the same time and I immediately recognized this team and it was really funny. But anyway, uh, make sure to stick around for that one. That is gonna be the Review Clash episode, the third in the series. And uh, we are gonna be on call while having this battle, so it should be very oh interesting. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer <laughs> episode, that's for sure. I can guarantee you guys that. I'll just 6 you in five minutes. It's yeah, okay. that, that's pretty much what's gonna happen, guys. Get ready for that. <laughs> anyway, again, Make sure to hit the like button down below if you did enjoy, guys, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. Later.